it's Mims and today we're going to be making super speedy multi chocolate chip cookies. Delicious and really fast. Okay, so to start off you need plain flour, caster sugar, now the recipe calls for golden caster sugar and brown sugar. I have some brown sugar and some caster sugar, so I've done 150 grams of to total of those. So whatever you've got to hand. It's 200 grams of plain flour. I'll double check the chocolate chips, but I believe it's 100 grams of either chocolate chips or just chopped up dark chocolate. 175 grams of malted milk drink powder. Two medium sized eggs. 140 grams of butter, soft, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'll add all the details below, but let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is beat our butter and sugar. So I'll do that now. So I came across this recipe because I had a cookie emergency can't remember the reason, but I distinctly remember that I did not have time to wait for them to cool in the fridge before I bake them. I wanted cookies and I wanted them now. Why I needed them so urgently, I'm not entirely sure, but I came across the recipe and it is really, 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 really nice. So here we go. In case you are in a cookie emergency, the fact that I have a go-to chocolate chip cookie recipe in case of emergency, it's quite ridiculous, really. Hi, my name's Miriam. I'm a little bit ridiculous. Sugar. I'm just going to beat them two together. I'm now going to add my eggs one at a time. Just to note, I've put my oven to preheat. It's at 160 fan. Save time so we can get our cookies quicker. In goes the second egg. Push. I'm just gonna put my half a teaspoon of baking powder in with my weighed up flour, and then that'll go in. Put my flour in, just to give that a bit of a mix. And now I'm going to add my malted milk powder. come together nicely so I'm just going to add my chocolate chips. I don't want to over mix it so I'm just going to get a spoon to do the rest. Ooh. It smells yummy. If you like malted milk, which I presume you do, because otherwise you wouldn't necessarily be looking at a malted milk chocolate chip cookie recipe. It smells very much like a nice warming malted milk drink. Okay. okay. I'm just going to add my chocolate chips. And just give it a bit of a stir. My mix is ready to go, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like right now. Cool. Okay. So, full disclosure, it was a little bit too runny, so the reason for that is that 
some of my butter wasn't quite room temperature so I had to stick it in the microwave and it was a little bit too hot so it was just a little bit too loose which is not what you want when you want speedy cookies but anyway <clears throat> it's real life so what you gonna do stick them in the fridge for like five minutes that's what you're gonna do so it's still gonna be a little bit messy but that's okay still workable so don't want to put too much pressure on them because then they'll get stressed no they'll they'll get all squishable and stuck to your fingers and so yeah don't don't put too much pressure on them just loosely they won't be the neatest because then they're not the neatest shaped balls but that's fine if you did have time and you did want to chill them then you could, for like a decent time, um, you could make them a lot more ball-like, neater shaped balls, and then that way you can probably have them in a neater circle when they're baked. So it's a bit messy. And giving them a good room, good room between them because if they spread, I don't want them to join up with the next one. They can be very, really friendly cookies. And I just, I want single ones. So, so I'm going to have to get another tray quickly just to sort that out and wash my hands. Oh. to get another tray and wash my hands. So I've got my second tray. This is a very messy operation, but they are worth it, they're so yummy. You are worth the mess. trying to not get the handle messy but why I'm washing it anyway my hands are messy may as well have messy handles oh come on At the beginning, when your hands aren't super mucky, it does work a little easier. Mm. It's going to be a smaller one. They are definitely not going to be uniform in size. This can just be a little extra one. Right, I'm going to wash this. Well, not now, I'm going to put it in the sink. Okay, so they're going in the oven for between 12 and 15 minutes. In they go. Hi! So, they've been in the oven. They smell incredible. So, so yummy. They have got a little bit friendly with each other. That's fine. When they've cooled a bit, I'll separate them. Just show you what I mean. So here, they're just a little bit, little bit joined up. But it's okay, it's not a disaster, it's just the edge, so I'll separate them when they're chilled. I'll add some more pictures of what they look like and I'll make sure I detail everything below. Please do like and subscribe for more bake alongs, emergency cookies, you just never know, do you? See you next time.